Truth is, I moved to Asia alone because everybody in my life was too scary to do it with me. Like if I would have waited for the people in my life to move or even take a trip to Asia with me, I would be waiting until 2026. By the time the other influencers are already blowing up and doing it and realizing that this is actually a beautiful life. Excuse me, let me back up. You see, before I left America, I told everybody, I put everybody on notice, hey, I'm getting the one way, blase, blase, blase. I even had my particular family members and friends that I wanted to come with me. Didn't care about, we was gonna figure it out. All you had to do was just be interested or committed to the idea, take a chance. Many people couldn't do that. I did the math and the calculations. It did not make sense to sit where I, where I was previously. And for some of you back home, it don't make sense to sit where you are. Whether you in Cincinnati, Atlanta, Chicago, it don't even matter. Like the names of these illusions, your life is probably not what you want it to be right now. And it could be different, but there's things that you're not going to do all because you're just not used to doing those things. And you probably need to see somebody else in your life go off and do those things to go down. You feel me? You know how many people have moved to Thailand or even anywhere because they seen my content? Before that, they wasn't going, I wasn't going, and damn sure wasn't the people in my life going. And that's just that's just the reality of it. I would have loved to have been here with one of my siblings. I would have loved to have been here with one of my friends. But I'm gonna tell you guys this: just because you alone don't mean you're lonely. Just because you alone don't mean you're lonely. Because on my solo travels to these countries and these continents, there are many other people that do it as well. Many black women, many Latino women, many single fathers, many people from different diasporas and, and races and backgrounds. And we all have something in common. We all decided that we was willing to act on a new idea and express a new part of ourselves. And then what you see, what you find is you find yourself in a room with other people who have very, very different stories, but y'all all just woke up and decided to press the button. And it works and it's beautiful. And I press the button again. And if any of my American family members wanted to join me, be about that life and buy the one way ticket. Or show love to me and support my cash app. You feel me? With hey, hey. By the way, this is no shade to any of the people that I invited to come with me. And if I didn't invite you, hey, I'm. You gotta make you gotta make these decisions in life, regardless. You gotta you gotta just do it. You gotta just do it. So the next move I do, whether it's a cruise or whether it's a continent, yeah, I'll get on TikTok and I'll let you guys know. Yeah, I'll, I'll say, hey, who wants to go here? But if it ain't no real initiative taken, you just going to see me there. And you're going to see how I unravel that place. But I, I traveled alone because I couldn't wait on anybody else in my life. This is my life. I couldn't wait on them. And even though I love all of them, maybe me leaving was going to be the domino effect for them to do some things in their space. Because I miss y'all and I love y'all. And one day... After I blow up for real on this content stuff, I'm going to have the means to bring the people that I care about with me on these trips. That's why I go so hard at this. These platforms will pay me one day. This is d digital real estate. I am well aware of how this is going to age and it's worth it. It's tough. It's really, really tough sometimes, but it's worth it.